Good morning. Welcome po sa press briefing ni Presidential Spokesperson Ernesto Abella. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Rocky. Uh, good morning. This morning, we're going to be joined by Secretary of the Department of Tourism, Wanda Teo. Let me just give you a, Wanda Tulfo Teo, let me just give you a brief introduction. She has been at uh, the forefront of Philippine tourism most of her professional life. She's rose, she rose from the ranks, starting her modest professional career in travel and tourism as a flight stewardess. She eventually ventured in the travel and tourist business by putting up her own very successful company called the Mount Apo Travels and Tours, serving as its president and CEO from 1994 until she divested herself of any involvement in the company by June 2016, following her appointment to the Department of Tourism. She's been unstoppable as a Philippine tourism ambassadress, and she was chosen to become the president of the Davao Association of Tour Operators, Secretary of Tourism Congress, and president of the National Association of Independent Travel Agencies, or NAITAS, the biggest travel agency organization in the country. I'd like to introduce to you and call Secretary Wanda Corazon Tulfo Teo. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. A uh, morning, <laughs> sorry. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. A uh, good morning, everybody. Um, of course, uh, I believe you have the list of uh, what we've been doing in the department, and uh, I'm here to answer your questions and your concerns about uh, what is it that you would want to know about our department. MPC question, Pia Rappler. Um, good morning, Secretary. I'd just like to ask um, how much money has the private sector already committed to the DOT for the hosting of Miss Universe, and how sure are we that the government will not shell out any money for the That's a very good question. <coughs> uh, so far, DOT is not going to spend uh, any money, as uh, I have promised the President. And uh, it's a private sector, which is our partner, which is um, Chabit Singson's group, that's going to raise the $11 million dollars fund for the Miss Universe. And uh, very, I'm very sure, I'm 100% uh, sure that the government is not going to spend any money for the Miss Universe. Um, Ma'am, how much money has uh, Mr. Chavit Singh already raised as of today? What do you know? I believe uh, he has already raised uh, half of that, which is the requirement of the Miss Universe, 60%, uh, 50% uh, down payment. Follow up question about Miss Universe? Uh, no more? No more question? Uh, Chona Yu, to be followed by Henry Uri and Joseph Morong. Can we have the microphone, please, for Chona, please? Ma'am, final la ba yung mag host si ano, Steve? Oh, it's a final because actually under contract for five years, I believe. So definitely, he's again going to host the Miss Universe. Medyo, medyo, um, when I told the president about that, negative agad ang sabi niya, hindi pwede. So, that was what he said. I, and he said, uh, I'm going to talk to the Miss Universe, na dapat hindi siya. So... That's my problem. <laughs> yeah, that's what he told me during uh, our meeting with him. I'm going to talk to Miss Universe because I don't want him to be the host of the Miss Universe. Ma'am? Uh, siya lang po mag... Sige, Chona, follow up. Ma'am, siya lang po mag si Steve or merong Filipino uh, na magkukohost sa... Siguro that is what I'm going to do para medyo hindi talagang... Magiging, magagalit ang presidente, siguro maglalagay ako ng uh, a girl that will, uh, from the Philippines that will co-host. Uh, wala pa. Probably one uh, from the media. <laughs> Henry Uri, please. Secretary, magandang umaga po. Anong inaasahan nating magiging tulong nito or adventahin nito sa bansa pagkatapos po ng uh, pageant na ito? 
I'm sure that after the Miss Universe, uh, the Philippines will be in the world map. Everybody will be looking at us because during the Miss Universe contest, um, all the beautiful places, the destinations will be featured. So, makikita nila yung Philippines. And the candidates will be going around the country. There are places that we have identified wherein they will be going. So, after that, uh, I'm very pretty sure that uh, we will be in the world map after. Apo, yung pagpasok ko ng mga private sector, walang, wala ko silang hiningin kapalit like Chabit Singson and the rest? Wala naman. They're the one that uh, will put out the money. It will share out the money. Joseph Morong? I'm just staying on the topic and then there's another one. Um, may, you can, can you announce the bada mga cities that are being considered napupuntahan and then the main city where the pageant will be held? Uh, we have identified Davao, Cebu, Iloilo, and Vigan. But there are other countries that would like to host, but then so far, ito pa lang yung, yung final namin. And then it, the main event will be in Manila. Yes. Follow up, Sahana. Morning, Secretary. Um, Kino consider po ba natin, like, kasi sa mga previous um, hosting ng Philippines, laging nakikita yung mga iba't ibang sayaw ng, Pilip ng uh, Pilipinas, pero hindi po masyado na showcase yung mga ganda ng sayaw ng mga, uh, in, ng mga indigenous people sa, like sa Davao, yung mga indak-indak. Are you going to uh, take this opportunity since taga-Davao naman kayo na ma-showcase din po yung magagandang sayaw ng Davao? Like yung mga magagaling sumayo sa indak-indak, sa kadayawan? Yeah, we will consider that. Yeah. Uh, Ma'am, before si President Duterte was bringing up the issue na yung traffic po ng mga major events in Manila would um, would be one reason why he doesn't want to hold his events here. Ha, didn't he raise the concern na um, Manila as the main venue of Miss Universe might cause traffic? Uh, kaya nga, di ba, we have uh, transferred the auxiliary events in the provinces para, para medyo malesan ang traffic dito sa Philippines, as uh, sa Manila. That's why we have moved it to the provinces. The main events na lang will be in Manila and it will be at MOA Arena. And then uh, the pre-pageants will be in the hotels, somewhere in that area also. Joseph Morong to be followed mm. by Marlon Ramos, then uh, Raymond Tinasa. Ma'am, may date na ba tayo? Month at least, or if you have the date already. The date is uh, January 30, 2017. But the candidates will start coming in by uh, January 13. So at least two weeks, two weeks, yes. Ramardon? Secretary, last night, um, Senator Alan Peter Keta no, raises concern about the effects of uh, the negative effects of the um, negative perception on the drug war in the tourism industry. Do you share the same? concerned with Senator Keita. Sa akin naman, if uh, actually uh, when uh, the ambassadors made a courtesy call to my office, the European ambassadors, they, they also raised this concern. I said, pag hindi naman siguro sila magkukumit ng crime and they were not going to bring drugs here in the Philippines, but sila matakot pumunta sa country natin, di ba? Ilan po yung, yung, what's your target for uh, foreign tourist arrivals? For, for 2016, million. 6, million. 6 million. For the remaining half? Oh. So far, as of uh, July, <coughs> kalahati na. So uh, we will hit the target or even more. Ray, Ray, Raymond Tinasa? <coughs> Hi, ma'am. Good afternoon. Ma'am, have we finalized the venue for the coronation night of the Miss Universe? Coronation night. The date? No, the venue. It will be at the uh, MOA Arena. Also, uh, have we considered or how do we deal with that uh, alleged threat of the ISIS to the Miss Universe? We, we're not actually worried about that because uh, the military will take care of that. We've been coordinating. We've been meeting with the National Security Council. Thank you. Ay, last. And how do we go about with some to be considered as eyesores in the Metro Manila? Meron bang kayong planong magbabakasyon din sa mga kaobay natin, mga street dwellers? Um, 
I think we're going to do that too, like when we did with uh, the APEC and during the arrival of the Pope when they came over, when he came over. Thank you, ma'am. JP Bencito and then Chris. Good morning, ma'am. Ma'am, magkano po yung tinitignan natin na revenues or kita ng tourism sector after the Miss Universe hosting next year? Uh, we're not focused on the monetary consideration because wala kami makukuhang pera dito because as I, say, as I said, the private sector will take care of it. It will be the group of uh, Mr. Singson. Ang sa amin na lang is the, the tourist arrivals, the, the tourists that will come here after the Miss Universe and during the Miss Universe. Ma'am, on another topic, um, yung ASEAN po we will be hosting next year po. Um, meron na po ba tayo nakikita na dates or preparations na ginagawa po ng gobyerno? In Inaayos pa namin yan. We're working on that. Thank you, ma'am. Chris Jose, microphone, JP, please. Ma'am, balikan ko lang po yung ayaw ni Pangulo kay Mr. Steve Harvey. May binigay po ba siyang specific na reason or simply ayaw niya lang na mag-host si Mr. Harvey? Uh, medyo pabiro eh. <laughs> when he told me, when I said, Mr. President, yung uh, the uh, MC will still be Steve Harvey and he reacted. He said, what? Ayaw ko yun. <laughs> that was what he said. I said, but uh, he will really be because he's under contract. He said, yeah. It's okay. I will talk to the <laughs> organizers. Yun ang sinabi niya. Thank you, ma'am. Maricela Lili, TV5. Hi, ma'am. Good morning. Ma, meron bang preference si Presidente kung sino gusto niyang pumalit kay Steve, if ever? Wala siyang sinabi. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think para to balance, para siya magalit, uh, I, I'll suggest that uh, we will have uh, somebody from here, probably a media woman to host you, and you could be one of them. Baka pwede ikaw, di ba? I'll suggest. <laughs> Ma'am, on other issue. Ma'am, is it true that the Department of Tourism is planning to change uh, the slogan? Uh, yes, definitely. We will change it by next year. Ma'am, meron na ba tayo na slogan in mind na pwedeng ipalit dun sa It's Wala More pa. Fun? We're working on, uh, uh, we have uh, contacted the advertising company to submit, so probably by mid next year. Ma'am, mm -hmm. ano po yung ating um, consideration in choosing the new slogan? It's more on change. They would, we would like to show them that uh, we have a new Philippines. Follow-up question about um, Mommy, Hen, uh, Joseph and then Henry. Um, ita timing nyo ba yun dun sa, kasi January yung Miss Universe, eh, ba? I mean, might be a good time to launch a new slogan, just in case. Probably middle of uh, the year. Ah, middle of next year. Next year. Ah, okay. Henry? Secretary, do you have like five or ten point agenda that you would want to achieve before the end of your term? Um... Before the end of my e term, I would like to focus, these are the agendas that I would like to focus, infrastructure development, that is very important to me. The roads and beaches going to the destinations must be improved. Uh, we would like to have uh, product development. We would like to develop uh, new destinations. So there are some destinations that are underdeveloped, and we would like to focus on promotions. Follow up. Marlon, uh, um, reminder, MPC, we have Secretary uh, Abella. Yes, uh, Presidential <laughs> Spokesperson Abella. Okay. Secretary, did, did the President say anything if Steve Harvey insists on hosting the pageant? <laughs> what, what would happen to him? Yes. That's my problem. Up to now. <laughs> but but serious po yung sinabi ng Presidente na he would talk to the organizers? I don't know if he was serious, but the, when he told me, medyo, he was not laughing. <laughs> so, medyo serious siguro, kasi he was not laughing. How, so, how about you, ma'am? Would, would you bring the matter to the pageant yes, organizers? Yes, of course. I will tell them. Benji Liwanag, DCBB. Okay, we have the microphone. Pia, thank you. Ma'am, good, good afternoon. Yes, ma'am. Um, one of the points that uh, you're considering is the security. Uh, right now, 
may problema tayo somewhere in Mindanao, but not not actually no, in some parts. Did did also the Department of Tourism considered uh, the security? Yes, when uh, when the group will be, let's say, we will be bringing in five uh, candidates in each provinces. So when they go to Davao, the military will take care of it. So every places will have their own security that will take care of the candidates. Okay. Uh, have you received any threat coming from any other group uh, as of right now, uh, validating or something, uh, ma'am? Wala naman. Thank you very much. Okay, Dexter Ganibe. <laughs> Secretary, good morning. Clarification lang. Yung June 30, yun na po yung coronation night o start pa lang ng mga activities? January, January 30. Ah, January 30. January 30 would be the coronation night. Yeah. The candidates will be coming in on uh, January 13. They will stay, be staying here and uh, they'll be going to places. So activities would be before Janu uh, January 30, 26? Yes, before January 30. Uh, last, sige, Pia. Ma'am, just to follow up on the Metro Manila traffic, um, does President Duterte know that the main event will be in Man Manila? And um, if so, what are the measures you will take to prevent traffic? For example, will you be not hosting mga parades on main thoroughfares? Is that something you're considering? Yes, uh, that's what uh, I've been considering, no parades. Uh, the event will be at um, MOA Arena, so it's more focused on that place. Let's say the pre-pageant will be in the hotels, so, so to avoid traffic. Kasi yun ang unang concern niya. And I've been coordinating with Secretary Tugade on this. Okay, thank you. May follow up? Uh, Joseph, Sino pong may, mag, may magigibong official broadcaster? TV broadcaster, I mean. Uh, yung... The one that's going to handle the media is um, Solar. This is Ang Solar. And the Kei Cheng, yeah. No? Kei Cheng, yeah. Oh. And so then siya yung siya yung naghandle, and then he'll take care of uh, distributing saan, it. Distributing it, yes. So ang official He's partner will be the Solar. Yes, Solar. Okay. Okay, M MPC, okay na tayo. Thank you, thank you, Secretary Juan Dateo, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, yes, ma'am. Mom, you have other ano, announcement, pa? <laughs> ah, okay. Okay. Thank you, Secretary Teo, Presidential Spokesperson Ernest.